let us pray. Almighty God, the creator and ruler of heaven and earth, we beseech thee to inspire and guide all our actions so that we may always walk in the path of justice, love, and charity to one another. Help us with thy grace to do only those things that will promote the unity, peace, happiness, and prosperity of Nigeria in general and Lagos State in particular. Amen. Good morning, distinguished colleagues. You are all welcome to today's session. Let us go through the fourth sum proceedings of Tuesday, 23rd July 11. Page 12, Honorable Abu. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker, for the members. Good morning. Um, page 12, item 3, under matter of urgent public importance. We are Honorable Adam, for the position of the House and the Speaker. The first line, um, he said, he, no he noted that a lot will need to be done. Then we need to be done. Thank you.
Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, with respect to the chief whip, I beg to disagree with him on what he said. I think the needed to be done will appear to be in order. But that's not why I am observing. What I'm observing, sir, is in the same item three. Item three, line five, sir, where Honorable Adams was talking about the major environmental challenges of the state. And he said, he, further, he highlighted further that the major environmental challenges confronting the state are waste disposal management. I think it's either waste management or waste disposal comma, and management. I think it cannot be waste disposal management. Waste management comprises of waste disposal and everything. So either waste management or waste disposal comma, management and flooding. To make it very clear, sir. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Well, um, thank you very much. Well, um, probably what is missing here, we are going by what you said. A lot, probably, a lot is still needed. Probably, if it's missing here, a lot is still needed, or a lot still needs to be done. Well, we think the is a lot is still needed. Okay, the way it's out A lot still needed to be done. And I go, I should, okay, it's good about the And I will continue. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. On page 12, um, number four, under suspension of rules, the second paragraph, where it was written that uh, the members elogized the spelling qualities and outstanding performance of the celebrants, allegedly, that's from the, the former governor of the state. Uh, the outstanding quality and um, the outstanding performance there should be outstanding performances as it is a plural now, just the same way we have the staring qualities. I have examined the food sample proceedings of Tuesday, 24 July 2019. I provide Mr. any message from the government? Right, Honorable Speaker, distinguished honorable members, there is no message from the government. Any other announcement? Mr. Speaker, sir, I wish to announce the presence of the following at the gallery to observe the house proceedings. We have 20 students from National Association of Nigeria Students, NAMS, Zone D, and Joint Campus Committee, JCC Lagos led by Comrade Odufua Idris, or Assistant General Secretary Southwest, and Comrade Arugundade Ibrahim, or Director of Action and Mobilization, JCC Lagos. So we also have councillors from Ikurudu local government. They, they, they include Councillor Issa Salman Ayobami, leader, Councillor Adebowale Ajayi, Deputy Leader, Councillor Aulisi Omotayo, Majority Leader, uh, Councillor Tohib Shokumbi, Shiwi, Councillor Oshudi, Oluwa Shegu, Councillor Aobajo Adibuinga, Councillor Banwu Alade, and lastly, Mr. Ogunsonwo Aibi, Clark. That's all, sir. Thank you, sir. 
non Mr. Speaker, sir. Part of the public importance on personal explanation no. report. Good morning, Mr. Speaker. Hello, colleagues. Um, reports of the Committee on Health on the present tour of capital projects and facilities in general hospitals, primary care centers, and um, major state universities in hospitals. Mr. Speaker, sir. Uh, the inspection tour of the capital project and facility in general hospitals, health centers, flagship primary centers, the purpose of the inspection was to afford committee the opportunity to ascertain the extent of performance of, by contractors executing projects awarded by state Minister of Health, also to carry out inspection on the current state of the facility at the hospital with a view to propose appropriate recommendation to the house which will further enhance an effective healthcare delivery system within the state. The committee observed the following. One, overall shortage of manpower, ranging from medical personnel across all other cadres of workers in all the hospitals across the state. Two, most ambulances and utility vehicles at various hospitals are become, becoming moribund. Three, insecurity in most hospitals as the committee was briefed on the way and manners hoodlums attack them whenever they bring their fellow hoodlums that sustain injury. Four, space challenges in most hospitals, primary health centers visited by the committee. Five, poor environmental sanitation in some of the public health centers, such as Egbeda Kumo Job PAC, or Job PAC, or Toawori PAC, and Badagri West PAC. Six, most laboratories in the public health centers are not well equipped and lack air conditioner to preserve the laboratory equipment. Seven, hospital facilities such as bed and mattresses are in poor state. And lastly, abandonment of multi-billion naira cardiorena project, which is presumed to be the signature legacy of the state. Mr. Speaker, fellow colleagues, the abandonment of this facility has come with a huge cost of about six to seven billion naira. The committee was briefed that infighting involved key stakeholders, the former governor, Mr. Babatunde Rajpachala, ICM, the immediate past governor, Mr. Akim Yambode, the commissioner for health, Honorable Gide Idris, and the contractor, Bills Projects Limited, Mr. Tugi Olulase. This cardiorenda center, if working as required, will have lessened or reduced the level of stretching the facility at last week. To mention but few some of the equipment at the center that are seriously deteriorating due to improper storage conditions include one, two operating theaters, two art lung machines, two anesthetic machines, blood and fluid warmer, cell saver machine, three intra balloon pump, two laminar flow theater for kidney transplants, 19 critical care bed, cardiac catasterization laboratory, 64 slide CT scan machine, transesophageal echo cardio cardiographic machine, 24 food dialysis machine, X-ray machines, ECG and ultrasound machine, Mr. Speaker, distinguished colleagues. With this facility to be functioning, one can only imagine the optimal level of the healthcare service delivery of the state. The recommendation from the well, but The question is the report of what you have done, and I think what you have informed us about has to do with the equipment. So the situation about the equipment. Is what I wanted to shed more light on. Uh, the, Mr. Does Speaker, it mean they are not working from most, the most of the presently, presently, most of them they are not working. They are abandoned and um, they are all sensitive equipment. If not stored under um, refrigerator condition, I mean, sorry, 
um, cold weather condition, most of the cells, they will spot. Aside from that, we were briefed, the committee was briefed that the Cardena Project Center worked for about two weeks after which they locked the place up. That most of the instruments installed, they are all obsolete. Most of them, they are obsolete. But aside from being obsolete, most of them presently, they've been stored for over four years, they are not working at all. From the period of um, supply, at the moment of supply, it has not been working. Some of them have not been working. Exactly, sir. Mr. Peter. Up, up to this moment, Mr. Peter. Yes. Recommendations. Can I continue with that? I don't, I don't know what you recommend. Because from what we only have the report, we are only expecting you to just brief us of the activity okay. to when the proper report is ready. But the one that is urgent is all about the equipment and what we have done. And those that supply, have you invited them? Have you met with them and those officials that um, um, uh, took the delivery? Have you spoken with them to Mr. understand what the problem was? Mr. Speaker, sir, we, we, we did not take permission to invite the, the contractor. We only took permission to visit all the facilities. So if the house will give us the drive, we will definitely invite the contractor. We have to hear from let's arrive before you conclude on your service. I don't know if two or of our police have something to say to you. We can take your seat. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I permit me to thank Honorable uh, Shokule, the former chairman of the Committee of Health and Security Members, for this assiduous job and uh, big favor they have done to Lagos State. Mr. Speaker, this is very disheartening and very alarming, very heart rending to hear that the investment of the state costing over one billion is being wasted away like comatose. Uh, and now we have incurred losses to the extent of over seven billion naira. Not just monetary consideration, Mr. Speaker. When we look at the humanitarian angle of it, if these facilities were functioning, we would have saved a lot of lives. Medical tourism to India, to all over the world, will have been reduced. And people are dying every day. We needed these facilities like yesterday not even to come out today or tomorrow. But when they are not functioning, then what are we doing in Lagos State? Mr. Speaker, I want uh, the House to kindly permit the uh, committee to go further, delve into the matters, to see at the point of supply what actually happened, why some of these equipment were not fit to be supplied in the first instance. And after the supply, those who could be salvaged, why were they not used? And why are we playing uh, uh, sacrificing ego to, at, the, at, the, at the altar of people's convenience and comfort. Mr. Speaker, I want us to, if possible, do a public sitting on a matter like this. It's very, very important, sir. And that, that will be exemplary. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Well, I first and foremost want to at least commend the committee for doing a, a good job us in Lagos State. A lot of issues has been raised, the issue of shortage of manpower that we observe across the states. Then majorly the issue of the equipment, abandonment of the equipment. I want to add that it's not only the equipment, a lot of buildings were handled by deal construction. And I can tell you for free that most of it were abandoned. So I want to suggest and support that the contractor be invited and those who took delivery so that at least they can explain to Lagosian what happens to our fund. Thank you, sir. Hello. Uh, good morning, Mr. Speaker, my colleague. Good morning. Mr. Speaker, uh, we cannot actually quantify the laws of life uh, because of the, like, a gestural attitude of the supplier and the anger of Renault uh, Cardinal, uh, Cardinal Renault Center. Because uh, we did not just look at it from point of just investing over one billion dollars, but we look at what that center would have done in terms of life saving and in terms of uh, making the world the movement of people to other countries on medical tourism. I would say that, Mr. Speaker, it will not be out of place 
to call the former commissioner of health, uh, the accountant, and all other people involved. Because when you call just the contractor, without looking at the other side, probably you just be looking at one point of, uh, of, of the degree, without getting to the input of the matter. So for us to really have all those involved gather together and for them to be answerable and to be accountable for all the activities in the course of having these things uh, done. And Mr. Speaker, I want to borrow the word of our uh, honorable Graham as well that uh, it is a very important thing that uh, they must be questioned in the public health. That means the community will bring them, will bring other people and let them be televised. And what I've transferred to us, let the whole world know. Because uh, this is a colossal waste to the state. And the loss is highly uh, regrettable. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, wealth, they say, health, they say, is wealth. And if equipment of that magnitude had been initiated in a state of excellence, it is for a purpose. The purpose is clearly defeated now. And those who defeated the purpose still live within us. It is not any other way to describe it but callousness. Washing people with kidney problems, dying of some of them paying through their houses, some of them raising donations on social media to go for health tourism outside the state. While here in Lagos, we have equipment. The chairman said the equipment are said to be obsolete. To say the equipment are obsolete, that means they are out of order. Does that mean that the person that imported them into the country does not know they are out of order? This is an area we should be more critical, Mr. Speaker, and I think this should attract public um, participation and public observance. We must do the need to the, those involved must be brought before public clear to come and say why they have done that wicked act to the people of Lagos State, to the government of Lagos State, and to taxpayers whose monies were used to secure those people. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, the right of the Speaker. Firstly, I want to thank the Chairman of the Committee for a well good job. Uh, I don't want to speak much in respect of what or the respect of the equipment because most of the previous speakers were spoken very well on it. Part of when he was giving his own report, he mentioned the poor environmental sanitation around our speakers. And he's very, very challenging, truly. If people go to court, uh, go to hospital, the intention is to secure a very good head. But unfortunately for them, going to the hospital and go and bring another very, very worst uh, thing home again. I want to speak in respect of the general hospital at Igondo, very close to dumping site. Even if you're sick, going to that hospital, the chances of, uh, of getting a very good head from that area is not good. So I don't know what the state can do, especially the Ministry of Health, what they can do in respect of that hospital. Whenever I pass through that access, it's very, very appalling. Thank you, sir.
Observez Jean ça. So I am observing the point of order raised by the chief week. The question provides for the house to regulate its sitting. And the consequence of what we are doing here is a product of an earlier concurrence by all members that we shall come before this house and take this report at plenary. So if it is what we concur to at parliamentary, now taking place at parliamentary, now taking place in plenary, I do not think we have run foul of the house rules, being our own concurrence entirely. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Your light is on. Is it a point of order or you want to comment on the positive? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'm trying to get the order because I know one of our orders is that Mr. Speaker will interpret this rule as Mr. Speaker didn't speak. And it is Mr. Speaker that has asked us to comment on this evening. So if I have the protection of Mr. Speaker, may I have to seek my comment? Let me see. Let me see the rules we are referring to. So when somebody is giving a report, the essence of such report is to allow people to hear the situation of the assignment they are working on and at the same time for other members to also contribute to bring advice. And that is a suggestion of their own opinion. And that is what colleagues have been doing. If we should invite the uh, the contractors and the officials and other so I don't see anything out of place. We thank you for calling our attention to that. 
think we are still in line with what we are doing. So we we'll we we'll try to be good. Thank you, sir. <laughs> yeah, we we'll, I know I will say that you put up your light. I know I will lie one and my colleagues. I thank the chairman of our committee on health for his submission on the superior situation of our health facility in Lagos State. I need to let this August city know that we need to visit our hospital. When we visit Lagos hospital, we will know that they are in Shambo and it's good that they are call our attention to him. What I would just submit is that we should raise a strong man committee that will do a thorough investigation on the outcome of what he has just given to us. Sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, I also would like to commend the chairman and the House, and Mr. Speaker in particular, for asking the committee to look into this matter. This matter is it's very difficult. Those equipment that have been being talked about were ordered in 2008. 2008. And as we speak today, some are, most of them have not been seen. So that's 11 years. You can imagine 7 billion naira 11 years to do to what they are having now. It is common, it, 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 is, it is unfair to commit state funds to activities that we have promised people of Lagos that are going to give them service. And unfortunately, it is still existing in our system. And I pray all committees look into it like uh, um, and so play are done, because we, they, we need to have an end-to-end -end order. When things are bought, where they are going to be installed, the personnel that are going to use them, the personnel that will install them should also be on ground. There is no point in importing equipment that you put them down then they will become obsolete, even if they were not obsolete when they were bought, which is another issue. And nobody is there to install them and nobody is there to use them. It is happening with very, in various sectors of our, um, should I say, government activity. And we need to look into this and ensure that it is discontinued. Everything ordered must be end to end. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Mr. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, this issue is no doubt a very uh, sensitive one that, that needs uh, urgent positive direction. Uh, basically, not to belabor the issue, uh, I will go along with most of what uh, the other members have said, but uh, I would like to pay particular direction to uh, the part where it was mentioned that the officers involved in the supplies of the uh, the equipment, the Ministry of Health, the Commissioner, and all of that, where, where they are going to be called, they should also include uh, the procurement officer of this equipment the, the procurement officer who handled uh, the uh, the uh, the supplies of this uh, particular uh, collection of equipment, because at the procurement stage, was it handled the way it was supposed to be handled? Uh, what? Uh, why would you, in our hospitals, have obsolete uh, equipment? We have some of our hospitals that, for example, uh, we have X-rays machines which are as old as 1975. What what is it still doing in our hospitals as, as at this time? And um, of course, expending so much on our equipment is no doubt uh, fulfilling our people's responsibility. But is it justifiable? Are we getting the service? Are the people getting the service that they're supposed to get based on all of this? So I want to concur with uh, those who have suggested that we should uh, do a, a general tour and in fact an overhauling of 
most of the equipment that we have in our health sector because the health sector is very important for life sustenance in, in our state. And of course, it's going to, uh, in, in turn, have a huge detrimental uh, effect on, on our economy as, as a whole in the state in, in general. So with this view, I want to suggest that um, the committee chairman who, who's handling it should be given uh, the express authority to uh, go further into uh, the investigation of all these processes. I don't think there's any need to set up another uh, uh, committee or subcommittee. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Honorable colleagues, I want to join other speakers who are speaking before me to say that uh, Honorable Shokoli has done a very fantastic job. Um, may I say that uh, the General Speech is a gather that houses uh, the Cardinal uh, um, Department is located in my constituency. So I am familiar with the happening here. Whatever I say here, I am saying it from an informed position. As an addendum to what Honorable Shukunle reported, I want to say that even the building of that renal cardiovascular department is structurally defective. If you go there, you will see walls opening. And just beside it, the two-story building, if you visit the place, you will see that the situation is, to say the least, abysmal. This, the sewage system is so poor. You will see uh, pieces sipping from the wall Honorable to the other. Honorable, sorry. We have heard the so we are all leaving with you. We go ask the uh, commissioner um, to get information as to what they are saying. So just make your own comments on the report of the chairman of the committee and let us move forward. I would just like to say, Mr. Speaker, that uh, the work done by the, by, by the committee is a fantastic one and uh, people have to be brought for questioning for their action or inaction. Thank you. Honorable Shokole, what is your request on this? Your prayers will be. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Could it be on the Cardinal alone? The equipment, so as you can see, part of the state to be part of your report. What the the committee concluded in calling the Ministry of Health and all that relevant stakeholders to appear before this honorable house and give their decisions on issues burden on the state of the Cardinal Project Center of the Gada. Thank you, sir. Yeah. I will take that again, sir. So, um, as, we, as I said, the committee concluded that um, the Ministry of Health and other relevant stakeholders to appear before this honorable house and give clarifications on issue burden on the states of Cardinal Project Center at Vagada. They don't have to appear before the house. You know, what we started doing was to revise is when you look at the power of investigation under the constitution, you know, the committee Speak for the empowerment of the house to investigate that thing. So it's a big of prayer on that. The power to revive the contractors, the officials, and the former um, commissioners possible and any other thing. So we can just grant that. From there, you take it off. Um, that um, the house should give the committee the power yeah. to invite. The uh, relevant stakeholders, the Minister of Health, the contractors, to appear before the committee of the House and give clarification on the Cardinal Center project. 
Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise to second the motion and smoke. Before I put in the question, I'll allow you to move the counter motion. Are you moving the counter motion? I'm not moving the counter motion. You can take your seat. Let's finish with this. You can take your seat. Okay, Mr. Speaker. Thank you very much. All in favor say aye. Those against me, the ayes have it. Um, Mr. Clark kindly get the list of those to be invited from the committee and send letter of invitation to them to appear before the committee. Well, um, you have ruled on the matter, so maybe you can okay. make But well, what I was going to say, Mr. Speaker, you permit me, is yeah. that um, I was just going to say that why don't we allow the I mean, the entire work to be taken by the committee rather than I an mean, additive, you know. Um, the entire work? You know, I mean, the report just given is mm -hmm. not limited to the Sadio Renner Center again. We spoke about the case of the in order. We are going to suggest that, I mean, what did the committee take us together rather than just leave together? Yeah, because that's, that's from the reports you we realize that the supply of the equipment is so essential. As I mean, at this point, if equipment have been supplied for over 10 years and they have not been put to use, and you look at the cost of those equipment, how, how much did you put seven point something billion? Right? Seven, seven billion. Huh? Seven billion. Seven billion naira. So I think it's, um, it's worthy of the attention we are giving it. And that will stop the committee from um, continuing with other activities. In the let me use this moment to recognize the presence of our councillors from the local government. We have Councillor Isa Salmon Ayobami, the leader, Adebo Wale Ajayi, deputy leader, Abu Lisi, your mother, your majority leader, Toyib Chokumbi, chief whip. We should be only watching the member. Um, I will be Joe. I think we have member. Ban Wu Aladu member. I will be so I will be flat. We are all working for the same purpose. Thank you. We also have twenty students from National Association of Nigeria Student Mass and B. Joint Campus Committee, Lagos, led by. Comrade Odufua Idris, Assistant Secretary General, Southwest. We have Comrade Arogundade Ibrahim O, Director, Action and Mobilization, JCC Legal. So thank you for coming. You are welcome. Remember last week the clerk read the letter from the governor informing the House of Nominee. Um, the uh, commence activities on the screening. Uh, we, we set up a committee to take charge of the screening. And um, those who will be members of the committee are uh, Honorable Rotimi Abiu, Honorable Jimmy Muhammad, Honorable Kasumu Damola, Honorable Yinka Ogundimu, Honorable Tobu, Honorable Victor Akande, Honorable Muiwa Jimo, Honorable Shagodara, Honorable Tunde Brahimo, Honorable Muji Makoli. Honorable Tijani, Honorable Mark Nde, Honorable Lai Wala Sobro, Honorable Afini, Honorable Nani, and Honorable Shokunle. The committee is to be shared by the Chief Honorable Rotimi Abiru and to report back in a week. 
names of the legal officers, at least four of them, and three secretaries of the committee. Thank you very much. Majority Leader. Distinguished colleagues, bearing the work to be done by the Committee on Screening and other committees, other committees on environment and infrastructure, that were warrant going around the consequences. I have the approval of the right honorable speaker to move that this house adjourns to Monday, the 19th day of August at 12 noon. I so move. Honorable Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise the according motion as moved. All in favor say aye. Those against me, the ayes have it.